What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. And uh, I got a new topic, you know. I was just driving, you know, and I was just thinking about, like, certain scenarios that could have, you know, went down in the sport of boxing and what certain fights meant and how certain fights uh, brewed and uh, manifested and became so big, you know. Um, I'm going to start with Mayweather Pacquiao. Um, the Mayweather Pacquiao fight got so big because a platform was set because of it was it was actually painted, you know, good versus bad. You know what I mean? Um, the villain was, of course, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and uh, the hero was uh, Manny Pacquiao. You know, uh, there's a lot more to it than that. It was the pound for pound, you know, fight to see who was the best. One guy retired, the other guy reigned as he retired. The guy that retired came back into the sport of boxing. You know, and so it, it's many scenarios that kept that fight hot, you know. Um, but the thing about that particular fight, what kept it hot was the number one thing that kept it so hot was Floyd kept winning. Not that Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao was on a winning streak. But the whole thing about Manny Pacquiao, he was already beaten. So there wasn't really a determining factor on that fight. You know, everyone assumed in 2012 uh, on the 5th of December when, um, or maybe it was the 7th of December, when uh, Manny Pacquiao was knocked out cold in the sixth round, you know, two minutes and 59 seconds in that bout, in that round, by that perfect right hand that was thrown by Juan Manuel Marquez, you know, so... It took it a while for it to brew even more because Manny came back and redeemed himself, you know. Um, but another thing, man, I want to talk about, guys, um, is imagine Mosley fighting or knocking out Mayweather like he already did, you know. Um, if Mosley would have knocked out Floyd Mayweather Jr., yeah, that would have been a rematch. However, I don't think there would be like an immediate rematch. I think Sugar Shane would go on to probably fight Manny Pacquiao. And let's say that fight happened the way it happened and Manny Pacquiao really steamrolled over him. Well, as you can see, if, if Sugar Shane Mosley would have upset Floyd Mayweather Jr., and it really wasn't, it wouldn't have been a bad upset because these guys were supreme superior boxers. If that would have happened, nobody, I repeat, nobody would care to see Mayweather Pacquiao. That fight would have never manifested and ever been thought of or you no know, one would have cared about that fight. It would have lost all its steam because the bad guy that no one could beat was finally beaten. So ultimately, everything was in, in the court of uh, Mayweather, you know, you know and uh, he just kept winning. And people kept hating him. People would see, watch to see him lose. But he never lost. So, you know, those things that can happen, you know. But I always think about the Mosley, when Mosley fought him. It was the summer of, um, it was in the middle of uh, 2010. You know, honestly, Mosley's last real fight was in 2009, early, two, no. Yeah, early 2009 against Antonio Margarito. That was his last real fight. He took a year and a half layoff, then he gets in there with Floyd Mayweather Jr., and he almost knocks him out, you know, in the second round of that fight, you know? And Mayweather holds on to dear life as he gets clubbed with right hands on the top of the temple in the head, you know? Um, it showed that Mayweather, you know, he's a lot more than talk. You know, he, he's a lot more than that guy than a lot of people understand, however, what if they would have fought two years earlier than that, you know, or three years older, earlier, or earlier in their career when Mosley was 135 and Floyd Mayweather was 130? You know, they could have had a super fight. Um, I know Floyd wanted to fight Mosley earlier, but I don't know if Floyd could actually, um, I don't think Floyd could have been able to take Mosley at those days, in those, in that, at that time, in that weight class, because Mosley was too powerful at that weight class. You know, and Floyd never seen anything like that. 
you know, Floyd was fast himself, but Mosley was had this dynamic, quick speed that he never been down at that time. The only person that put him down was Vernon Forrest. Vernon Forrest was the foil of, of Sugar Shane Mosley. So that equation lasted for a while. He lost twice to Vernon Forrest, but everyone has someone else's number. I repeat, someone always has someone else's number, you know? And uh, it's one of those things where, you know, um, Vernon Forrest took the O from Sugar Shane Mosley. Ricardo Mayorga takes the O from Vernon Forrest and then they do it twice to each other, you know? So it's kind of like karma, you know? Um, but you just, um, but back to the Floyd Mayweather, uh, Manny Pacquiao fight, you know, by the time these guys fought, yeah, just people were just, dude, let me see it for the love of God. Please let me see the fight. And when the fight was made, everyone spent all types of money and everything like that. But how could you expect that fight to go a certain way? Floyd fought the easiest way possible. He fought the way he tied him up. He didn't fight like he fought Cotto or Canelo or any other fighter because he knew that this particular guy is gonna come right at him. And if Floyd would have tried to fight Manny Pacquiao like that, you know, it would have been a much more exciting fight. However, Floyd did not want to risk getting hurt, so he fought the smarter fight. You know, you can't fault him for it. I mean, you can if you take the consideration of the fans, but at the end of the day, Floyd is his own man. So if he would have lost and got knocked out and got hurt because it was times where uh, Manny Pacquiao did hit him with that left and countered right over, right over his jab and stepped in with that left, you know. And it was one of those things where I don't think that Floyd could, I don't think Manny felt Floyd's power, you know what I mean? I think when Floyd has quick blinding power and in his speed is power, but I don't think it really hurt Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao just couldn't find him in there. You know, he couldn't cut off the ring fast enough. You know, um, but if you can say that about Floyd Mayweather Jr., you can say the same thing about Sugar Ray Leonard in 87 when he fought Hagler. You know, Hagler wanted a brawl. Hagler wanted him to fight like he fought Duran on the first bout, you know? And it didn't happen because Sugar Ray Leonard knew at that time, you know, that he knew what type of fight that Hagler wanted to fight. You know, so, but he wasn't going to give him that, you know, and he won. He won off points. He won off fast uh, movement, smart boxing. You know, he flurried at the last 10 seconds of each round. And then, you know, and at that time in 87, there was no more 15 rounds. There was only 12. So, you know, um, so you really can't beat up Floyd, you know, or down talk Floyd too much because other fighters had done the same thing. You know, and uh, he expected the villain to fight like a villain, right? But that's not what a villain does all the time. But anyway, this is just a food for thought. So this is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and you've been counterpunched. Peace.